Hello everybody, I am Mustafa Jafur. In this tutorial, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to preview an image from SQL database. Let's add a new form. Call it images. And add a new generic handler. Call it handler image. Okay. First, we are going to display one image. We are going to use the image handler to display the image. Okay. So, from our previous tutorial, copy paste this code and replace it with this. We open the connection, we made an object of SQL commands, we associated the connection, and now change the command text to select all from images where id equal one. What we are doing here to do is uh, we are going to take the image every time we call the image unit handler the same image where id equal one, okay? Uh, <clears throat> now SQL data adapter SQL data adapter DA equal to new SQL data adapter Welcome. and data table T equal to new data table they have fill DT okay now let's make an array of Byte image equal dt dot rows zero the first row with the second field and it's one one means this image id and it's zero okay but image and that's one zero means that uh, we want the first row uh, we should cast this to array byte now we need context dot response dot uh, content type equal image um, jpeg copy paste it twice jpg png okay now context dot response dot binary rights image and context dot response dot flash save rebuild image with equal two hundred uh, equal two hundred okay save now image view in browser and here is the image. Now, every time we call this generic handler, uh, it will display the same image as you can see. Now, we want to display image dynamically, uh, dynamically uh, with different ID. Okay, so let's delete all this and use grid view um, columns template field and item templates okay let's make the table tr and td okay td we need to the okay open the start eval so we want in this td to call the value of id okay id and here 
the image okay so here we need uh, image tag source equal um we are getting the value from handle that image so to paste here now folks here please we want to take different ids so we will send the id to this handler image i'll call it id okay equal um, eval um, and its name image okay now save why there is an error okay okay there is no error now uh, go to the code view code of uh, image uh, we need to add this okay here now <clears throat> uh, also copy paste this from uh, mm, yes from the image handler copy and paste this select all from image without this okay uh, let's say read view one dot data source equal dt and read view one dot data bind so we associated the data source to the read view save rebuild okay but just width equal and height equal just one more uh, another thing here in the handler image we should take that value from image handler so int id equal convert to integer here context dot request we are requesting the query string from that from uh, here okay id we are requesting id so that request id okay <clears throat> that is and uh, delete this one we'll make a parameter so com dot parameters dot add with value from id id okay rebuild and refresh okay it didn't display the image let's see why handler image okay uh, it's what we did here uh, that we gave the id uh, a value of image we should give id okay so save rebuild and here's the image okay so let's add more image browse desktop and uh, this image insert refresh the page and here's the image okay let me explain what i did again <clears throat> In the image web form, image web form, we made a grid view. Uh, in the grid view, 
we write this code eval id we are calling id the value of id and here uh, an image tag uh, and in the source we called image handler in the image handler here we are taking the value of id each time we call it so we send an id value from eval id that we are taking from this table okay here in the image handler we made a simple connection and uh, we got the data from the database and uh, depending on the id that we are taking from this then we filled in this image and we specified the type of the image type and we are sending the image here so it can be displayed in this td okay it's very simple uh, thank you for watching this tutorial please subscribe for more tutorials in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to make a slideshow